How can we make our management of extreme environments more sustainable? India, Australia, Africa and South America moved apart following more eruptions from deep inside the Earth. Movements of the Earth's plates eventually separated New Zealand and Australia from Antarctica. Mantle plumes pushed up onto the surface, forming new oceanic crust between the chunks of land. This was the beginning of the breakup of Godwana. Africa and Antarctica split apart and Antarctica shifted southward. Antarctica is a frozen, windswept continent, so hostile and remote that it has no permanent inhabitants. Scientists working here have made many discoveries from studying Antarctica's land and atmosphere, and from clues buried beneath the ice. These discoveries also reveal signs of changes in the near future that could affect us all. Come take a journey with me to discover Antarctica's future and what it holds for us all. The top way that Antarctica is threatened by human activity. It is tourism. Obama has stated that over 50% of the ice that has melted is down to the amount of fumes produced by vehicles transporting tourists. If we are to continue to develop Antarctica, we would produce more emissions which would melt more ice caps. However, if we don't develop it, and also by restricting ourselves to how much we do in Antarctica, then Antarctica will remain sustainable for the foreseeable future. Waste is another issue. It has to be dealt with properly, otherwise it could contaminate the ice. So, the scientists have to store the waste in containers and silos until a tourist ship comes and picks it up and disposes of it properly. As an example, the scientific centres do not use polystyrene cups because they do not biodegrade. Another problem is fishing. There may be some rare species of fish living in the Antarctic Sea, so we have to limit our fishing, otherwise all the species will die out. Part 2 The Rainforest Come, take a journey with me through the perilous rainforest and we can discover the secrets within. I think the main issue to do with the damaging of the rainforest is deforestation. Deforestation is very bad because not only does it affect our ecosystem, but it also affects animals and their habitats. Experts say that over 150 plants, animals and insect species die out because of deforestation. NHS says that 50% of our medicines derive from plants found in the rainforest. 